Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a game using CSS, JavaScript and HTML. First, let's create an HTML file, let's name it game.html. In this video, I am going to use Notepad as a code editor. You can use other code editors like Visual Code or Sublime if you want to. We will start by writing basic HTML code. For us to play the game, let's create a game area using div tag of HTML. Let's make it a square in the center of the screen. We can use IDs or classes attributes of different tags in HTML. To edit CSS styles of each tag which are going to be used a lot in this video. In this game I am going to limit the user by time which will only increase when the user scores a point by clicking the dot. We have successfully made the game array. Now let's create a top bar to display our score. In the top bar let's create a score time and high score section. Here we have our top bar displaying all the sections. You can play a bit around CSS to make it look much better. Here I am not happy with the font size in the top bar, so I am going to increase it a little. Now let's create a button that the user can click to start the game. We can either use custom positioning, or use margin attribute in CSS to perfectly center an element horizontally or vertically. We can use remove function of JavaScript to remove an element in HTML. Let's also call a play game function from our button which will be responsible for displaying the actual game. We can write our JavaScript codes in the script tag of HTML. In this tutorial, you will notice that I have used a single file in HTML to write all the code even for JavaScript as well as CSS. Doing this is not recommended while coding complex web applications. For the simplicity of code, it is always recommended to have different files for CSS and JavaScript and call them an HTML document. But since the code I am writing is far more simpler, 
it should not affect our code debugging process. Let's create a new element named dot inside the game window on the press of the play game button. Currently nothing happens since dot element has no behavior or script attached to it. Let's call a score function whenever the dot is clicked. Let's create a variable named sc in which we will store the score of the user, and whenever dot is clicked sc will increase by 1. Now to display the score. Let's create a new HTML element in score section of the tab bar to display our score. Similarly we can create new elements in time section and high score section as well to display those respective details. Note that we need to add this dot remove function in the dot element that we created using JavaScript to help our program distinguish between different dot elements that will be created in this game, and only remove the dot that the user clicks. Since our function is only updated once, we need some function to tell our program to update them at regular intervals. For that we use set intervals function. Here I am going to use set interval function to create new dot elements and create a clicker game. In set interval function, you can choose at what rate your program refreshes in milliseconds. In this game, I am going to recall my function after each 100 milliseconds have passed. To end the game, we will use if statement to detect when the time reaches zero. And we will add play game button element after the game has ended so that the game can be played again without refreshing the page. Here I am going to create a spawn dot function to spawn dots to random position on game window. Also I will increase the spawning of dots to two dots at a time when user reaches a certain score level. Here we have the spawn dot function that lets us spawn dots for a player to shoot at random position on game area. The min and max variables in spawn dot function define the box within game area, where our dots can appear. Here I used math.random function to find different sets of x and y points where we can position our dots and increase the difficulty of the game. This is the entire code for the game, you can pause the video and check the code. Now that we are done with our coding let's test this game.
Wow, 253, that was quite hard. Comment down your score below. Thanks for watching.